first, and you know, if the political relationship is good, that's fine because we can export a lot of product to 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 the main China. But sometimes we are trying to dispute because um, our ruling parties become to the Min Jintang, right? So <laughs> they have this like to talk anything uh, with our our president because you are belong to Min Jintang, it's not going down. <laughs> so so what how to keep balance between you know, um, economic and, and uh, defense? Because defense they get our weapon from USA. Because uh, since 2019, the trend is to be between the many, uh, many China and the USA. So how, what do you think of like, how to keep balance between economic and uh, national defense? Uh, may I ask you one very, uh, very best question? Do you like to unify with the main China so far? Uh, in my opinion, I don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to? Why? Yeah, I don't want to. Which party do you support? I mean, Green Party or Opposition Party? Uh, I neutrality. <laughs> Neutral. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah, no, continue. No, 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 I, no, in common. Yeah, because China is one country. Uh, one country and Taiwan's independent country, so I don't think we should come back together. Even though they, they say we are uh, part of in China, but right. I don't think so. Yeah, it's because so far, because Communist Party, they're, you know, they treat their country people not so well, because, you know, special, uh, for example, they have very famous Alibaba, right? How about the CEO? What happened? Right, because uh, they, they hold their government can control anything. So if you uh, are with the Alibaba, this kind of very big, com big company for the uh, I mean, private sector, mm -hmm. but that they will ask you to, or government can interfere this country in, in the company and control anything. That's why um, if, you, if we get a unified with some, I mean, some in China, so it's very terrible thing, maybe opposition party, special Min Jintang will be sent to the jail. We love Loshu, okay? <laughs> Sent to the chair directly by Jifang Jun Mitri. <laughs>
compared with Indonesia, Indonesia and India, yeah, sure. um, since they are also big population, yeah. and uh, also they have practiced uh, somehow neutrality, mm -hmm. uh, and that is why Indonesia can buy weapons from Russia and can buy weapons from the United States. Mm -hmm. But but with the with the current situation now mm -hmm. in uh, in Ukraine and then in South China Sea, somehow. It makes the other countries mm -hmm. uh, lean towards the United States. So mm -hmm. the aggressiveness of China in the South China Sea somehow affects mm -hmm. the the political mm -hmm. uh, situation in, in Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, China realizes this, but uh, uh, I think they have already invested so much in the South. Tennessee conflict. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You, you can see building the, the island. You can see the Philippines, right? Catching a more, uh, almost um, majority Kachino's uh, business is operated by the China people, Chinese people. Of course, uh, of course, including their uh, brick guy society is <laughs> also some or some you know is uh, robbery. And it's also happened in the Manila, uh, the Chinatown area. So, okay. Anyways. Um, uh, we have no choice because uh, economic right on the main China. We have people good relationship with them uh, because uh, we are more small country compared with uh, Vietnam and uh, and the Philippines. So uh, we we almost keep silent. Yeah, keep silent. Yes, because uh, big brother we have two three big big brother. First one in main China, second is the USA. Another one is China, Japan. Japan. Yeah. So we keep balance between the three country and. And he <laughs> passed between the, including Russia, yeah, so different areas. So. But anyways, uh, we just go to survivors, so get our people to uh, in very safety and prosperity. So I'll, I'll continue our topic. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, here is, uh, you know, sir, the bottom of course, because uh, last time I already told you about free convenience. Very convenient, let's mean they can hide the falling uh, more cheaper um, cost about the foreigner and uh, from the Vietnam, Vietnamese, uh, from the Philippines, the uh, sea fail. And so let's mean sir, um, Yami Line prefer to to fry the freight of uh, Panama, uh, even including the, uh, I mean sir, the uh, airplanes. Of China, because of following their China policy, they got a subsidy to their sale national free. Okay, Hong Kong is belong to China. Don't say that. Liberia also same, and uh, you can see here, uh, Panama's their um, their average leadership age is uh, about uh, uh, from 16 to 18. Okay, become older compared with South country their national free. Okay, so. Or if you consider the I mean, sir, the shift um, operating efficiency of um, the fuel costs, normally if you are your ship age, you belong to 15, uh, 15 years will be better, okay? So, but you know, sir, bottom of their ship age is more older than 15, okay? Uh, because uh, bottom of uh, uh, this country is not very strong, so they can use their political or, or um, to control anything their ship and follow the regulation of BMO. Okay. Okay. Here is also the bottom of the cell. Uh, we talking about their uh, they had different ship time, including the bulk carrier, container ship and the or taker. Uh it's light brood, it's uh bulk carrier, this color middle size, middle brood color is um, we say the container ships. Another one is oil tanker, yeah. So oil tanker, about a month, they're, uh, they're uh, about 90% of their age will be over 15 years, become very older. Of China, because uh, normally the China, they fry the falling freight over 15 years, uh, 50% 50, 50 fry the falling freight, so uh, also get, they should get a subsidy from their government. So they will follow the regulation of uh, their government. So you can see the 60% is a carrier. Their energy years very, very younger, below, below the 15. 
How about Hong Kong? Hong Kong the same. Last time I met the some she owner of Hong Kong, they say that they did not get any benefit or incentive from their government. But you know, Hong Kong is free market. So they can, uh, they also, in that time, Hong Kong, they also have a lot of, uh, a very special, maybe I will give you some uh, case. One of my friends, she have a lot of ship, but you know, she's only she owner only. So the problem is uh, how to operate there. Uh, my this guy, uh, my friend's uh, ship, the user ship management company. Okay, so because the ship need uh, to hire their seafarer, right? So they have a labor hiring company or recruiting companies. Uh, because uh, if you ship to uh, recruiting some uh, seafarer from the Philippines, and uh, he, he, they can uh, to contact this uh, labor hiring company to hire more seafarer from Philippines, Thailand, or other country. And also because uh, even you have uh, recruiting some seafarer, right? But the you, so you have to operate the, this uh, very big ship. So also they have a ship management company. So my friend, they have five ship. They did, um, you don't need to to are uh, to operate by his, himself, and he just ask uh, some favor to uh, ask some help from the recruiting company and also ship management company to operate his five five ship. So very convenient for. Uh, Stronger, and if you just like uh, if you operate a big company like um, our tank company, okay, you have to establish a very big company and hire a lot, um, you know, some CFL and some some officer in your company, right? So spend much money if we only your ship to uh, sign contract with uh, CFL labor hiring company and uh, ship management company is very easy for you. You don't need to take care of anything because only to have you just contact with a recruiting company and you find out they're very qualified CFL and also you have to operate your ship. You just contact with a ship management company. So very convenient job. And in Taiwan, also we have uh, some sometimes they say the uh, one ship company. <laughs> Uh, this is only ship owner, only one ship only. <laughs> Very small company. <laughs> okay, so uh, okay, so it's very interesting. Okay. And this kind of uh, ship uh, manager company normally they have uh, uh, because in Taiwan we don't have any kind of laws to set a uh, regulation or to um, this uh, ship management company. So this company, ship management, their business normally is in Taiwan. It's belong to one of uh, ship shipping agent. Service boat. 
range. Uh, sometimes they have some shoe company have operate operate this kind of uh, offer this kind of uh, service. Okay, here. So if you like to find out their uh, ship management company, you can contact with the ship company and uh, some is ship agent in Taiwan. You know, we have egg problem, right? Um, uh, yesterday I see the lawmaker ask the, you know, the head of uh, a culture. He said, why don't you buy to some egg from the Vietnam or, or Philippines? Because it's a new by our country. So, or, do you have a chicken fruit problem? No? I know the we not have a chicken fruit problem, right? No. No? Okay, so that means uh, you can buy, we can buy some egg from the Vietnam and the Philippines. Mm -hmm. But you know, I see it's a very ridiculous. How can you to buy the egg from Australia? And by air transport, it's very expensive, right? So that means, that means we also have considered, we used to think about, oh, we'd like to be, make a big market, make a big money from in China. Why don't think about diversify your uh, your trading partner is very important, right? And uh, our agriculture have some problem because uh, our pineapple cannot export to main China, and some wine cannot export to the main China it's because uh, particular issue problem. So we, we diversify our market to to Japan, USA, and other country, and even Singapore, Singapore. So that means you have encouraging uh, your people to open the market to outside, look better. Ah, because uh, 